Hello everyone, it's Kyle again, <clears throat> and uh, this is kind of like my ultimate uh, predator lasers tutorial, and a uh, long time ago I thought about making predator lasers and selling them online, uh, you know on like eBay or Etsy or Amazon or whoever. But uh, then I figured out some better ways to make money, and so I'm going to give this away to the public for free. <laughs> and I have some uh, better, uh, uh, what are they called? Uh, better designs for the Predator laser system with the battery and the, the, and the switch and uh, the connector and the LED lasers and the heat shrink tubing and the, where's the regulator? This is the regulator and uh, all this stuff so anyways if you guys want to you can totally use this and if you want to sell the, put these together and sell them online uh, you totally can they're pretty cheap uh, if you buy in quantity I have like a bag of 50 of these here I'm gonna turn on my lights now I turn off the lights so you can see everything with the uh, with uh, you can see the lasers anyways uh, these are um, uh, buttons. The button, the button. I, I'm sorry if my if my camera doesn't focus too much in this. I'm sorry. I'm trying to get it all done <laughs> with uh, the camera. Uh, Okay, so um, anyways, um, if you buy in bulk, then you can make these things for very cheap, only like, uh, I think less than five bucks each, something like that. And, um, you know, then you can sell them for like 25 bucks. And if you do, if you do make one of these, uh, and you probably end up making three because everything you buy is going to come in some kind of bulk form. So uh, when you buy your lasers, you're going to have to buy 10 of them at a time at the minimum order, which means that if you're good, you can make three of these laser things. Because uh, you have uh, you have 10 LED lasers, <clears throat> and you only need three for each one of these. Or you can just make one. Anyways, if you guys do make one, or if you make a lot and you sell them, please tell me about it. Uh, if you make a video of like uh, just your predator helmet after you get your things in or you don't have to make a video of like uh, you doing all of it if you don't want to or if you do want to that'd be awesome too but um so uh yeah if you uh if you make some of these or you make one of them uh please get a video and upload it to youtube and send me a link and download download or or, or Put your put your link in my uh, down in my uh, in the comment section. Tell me about it. Tell me about it. I'd love to see it. And if you're actually going to sell these on eBay or something, uh, tell me about it too. Give me a link to the eBay page because I think that's going to be awesome if you, somebody does actually sell these because they're pretty cheap to make and they're very easy to make. I went through uh, a lot of work to actually figure out how to make these things uh, cheap and easy, and it worked out well but i come up with better designs which i will show you guys in the future i'll probably end up giving those away for free too because like i said i found a better way to make money <laughs> okay so uh oh yeah okay so the, the, to begin okay to begin you guys can tell what this stuff is this thing right here is our uh, is our uh, what you call it the battery clip or something for the 9 volt battery and it has its red wire which you can see right here the red wire which goes over here to the uh, what's that thing called the uh, regulator the regulator and here is our regulator like that uh, this side is the input and that side is the output and the positive is this one down here on the bottom so you're gonna solder that red wire to the positive uh, and then you're gonna solder 
the black wire on this uh, to one of the wires coming off of the uh, one of the wires coming off of the switch okay we'll uh, we'll we'll get to that in just a minute anyways so I want to show you um, you should probably take a picture of you should probably take a picture of this design it might help you you know pause the video take a picture of the design with your camera and uh, that might help okay because uh, this is the battery thing this is the switch you see we've got our we've got our switch right here you can barely see that but you can see that it goes in and it goes out okay and you can see right there there's uh, six pins on the bottom two on each side or four three on each side Okay, three on this side, three on the other side. We're only going to need two of those uh, pins, but I'll show you that in a couple of minutes. This is the regulator. So we've got our regulator. Then out of the regulator comes our male JST connector. And uh, it has two ends on it. And uh, they, are, uh, they are stripped and tinned on the ends and which is great so you just take it and you solder it straight on there okay well so that comes out this goes to the female JST connector and uh, these these connectors are uh, polarized meaning uh, if you try to plug them in the wrong way they will resist you plugging them in in the wrong way uh, so if it resists you plugging it in the wrong way then plug it in turn it around and plug it in the other way okay okay so this is the female JST connector which is this and it has two wires on it one wire is the red wire right here which is the red wire right here coming off of our female JST connector see how that how that kind of works out okay and here we go we've got three LED lasers which are just like these which are just like these LED lasers so we got three LED lasers each LED laser has uh, two wires so you can see there's a red wire and a blue wire so what you do okay with your female JST connector I'm sorry, uh, I smell something that smells like burning wood. I hope that nothing in my room is burning or catching on fire. I hope that burning wood smell is somebody outside burning some wood. Sorry about that, that's, that's pr pretty, pretty freaking hilarious. Okay, so off of the female JST connector comes our red wire and the red wire from our little LED laser connects like it does in the diagram to the red wire right there so we're gonna uh, solder that on in a minute but I'm gonna have to show you exactly how to do it and then this one and this one first okay I'll, I'll show you how to do it anyway so you know that um, this um, design shows you know all the parts okay so you know what all the parts are so you know what my design kind of means okay so yeah take a picture of the design pause take a picture of the design and uh, that will help you out okay now we're going to get to um, uh, the steps there's 26 steps in doing this and uh, Oh yeah, there's 26 steps in doing this, and also um, all these parts that are here in this, I'm going to uh, make a list and uh, put it in the description of my video, and uh, it's going to be complete with links to a Chinese manufacturer, a Chinese company that I buy from that has all the parts. Okay, okay, so uh, yeah, give me a minute. Okay, here's the uh, here's the list. Uh, we have our 
Oh, we have our DC buck converter. When you buy it, it's going to be five at a time, uh, and then it's going to be three, three fifty for uh, shipping for this thing. But it's only, yeah, it's, it's it's very cheap. So it's going to be. Uh, anyways, you can buy five of them. Five of the buck converters. Okay, these uh, ten of these uh, laser dot diodes. Oh yeah, the buck converter. This is the buck converter. This is the buck converter. It's a variable buck converter, and a buck converter means that, um, let me see, yeah, this is the way it goes. This is in, that's out. A buck, con this is in, that's out. Uh, this buck converter, what it means by buck is that it'll take a higher voltage and bring it down to a regulated lower voltage. And in this case, we're using our nine volt battery. We're taking nine volts and we're bringing it down to three volts for the LED lasers. Okay, so that's the buck converter. So we've got our buck converter. Uh, next is the laser dot diode, and that's these three things. Okay, which is those three things. Okay. Uh, next thing. Oh, heat shrink. Okay, hold on. Okay, next is uh, the heat shrink, which uh, I have this. I don't know what size this is, but uh, it doesn't matter because uh, the link I'm going to give you is going to have 127 pieces of uh, heat shrink tubing, and uh, you'll be able to choose whichever size you want. Uh, and uh, the the uh, buck converter is going to the buck converter is going to fit inside of this uh, piece of heat shrink tubing and we're going to make it uh, waterproof and uh, these go on various pieces of wire two of these uh, go over here see like uh, on my uh, on my uh, uh, my LED lasers uh, wires I have uh, two pieces of heat shrink tubing so there goes two of them and one of them we're going to put on a piece of wire that goes on the back of the on the back of the uh, regulator okay so heat shrink tubing uh, stranded wire red there's my stranded wire it's 24 inches of stranded wire what we're going to do is we're going to make this make this straight and we're going to double it up you know so it's 12 inches one way and 12 inches back and uh, we're going to wire our switch to that okay stranded wire okay uh, push buttons uh, the push button uh, latching switches which is uh, this thing right here Let's see if I can zoom in on it and hopefully uh, uh, focus no I'm not gonna focus but you can kind of see three uh, you can kind of see three uh, things on the side we're gonna cut three of them off on one side and another one on the other side and then we're just going to have two of those uh two of those uh posts sticking out and there's the switch button <laughs> i buy i buy bags of uh 50 of them at a time <laughs> because they're so damn useful okay so the uh, push button switch uh, the JST connectors when you buy them you know, the least you can get is five of them at a time so it's five pairs of JST connectors and these are the JST connectors this is a uh, male JST connector here see if I can zoom in this is a male JST connector notice there's a red wire and a black wire and the ends are uh, stripped and uh, tinned I'll explain to you what tinning is later and this is the female where the male goes in and when you connect these up to each other you always want to have the positive you always want to have the positive when you plug them in to each other you always want to have the positive which is the red one on the same side as the positive which is the red one so you always want to when you plug them in you always want to have them the red on the same side as the red and the black on the same side as the black but uh 
but aside from that, these uh, connectors are kind of um, polarized, so that it'll only fit in in one direction. I think I already said that. Uh, okay. Next thing is the 9 volt battery snap connector, which is this, and it has a red wire and a black wire, and the ends are uh, uh, stripped and tinned. Okay, JST connector, 9 volt. Uh, hook, hook and loop strap, uh, two sided. Oh, what that means is here, this is hook and loop strap. It's uh, it's a uh, velcro on uh, this roll and uh, it's uh, the rough hook stuff on this side and on this side it's the fuzzy uh, loop stuff and it can stick to itself and we're going to use that to go around